How to buy CDs on Fidelity. Certificate of Deposits. Earlier this year, a one-year CD on Fidelity was paying close to 0%. Today, it's paying around 4%. Compare that to high-yield savings that are currently paying around 2%, and CDs are finally becoming a respectable place to park some cash. The CDs on Fidelity that we're going to be looking at are new issue CDs that are FDIC insured up to $250,000. In this video, I'm first going to show you how to research CDs on Fidelity Desktop. Second, I'm going to show you how to purchase a CD on Fidelity Desktop. And finally, I'm going to show you how to purchase a CD on Fidelity's mobile app. All this right after. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, I talk about stocks, SPACs, Bitcoin, options, and anything on my mind related to investing. If you wanna learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button notification bell if you haven't yet and please remember to drop a like if you enjoy this video as it truly helps out the channel so without further ado let's get right into it i'm here on my fidelity account and the way to research cds is to first go to the section on top called news and research then click on the section called fixed income bonds and cds that will take you to this page and then click on this section called CDs and Ladders. Now scroll down and you'll see that you can view all the new issue CDs available on Fidelity. You can see here that there are 115 new issue CDs. There are also secondary CDs, which we're not going to be looking at in this video. We're only gonna be looking at new issue CDs. You can sort the list by some of these column headings like maturity date and yield. And Fidelity also provides these very helpful shortcut links to filter by maturity date. For example, if you click on the five-year link, you're only gonna see five-year CDs. If you click on the four-year link, you're only gonna see four-year CDs. Three-year, we'll see three-year CDs, and so on and so forth, all the way down to three-month CDs. And you can double check that the filter worked properly by looking at the period column as well as the maturity date column. For example, if you were looking at one year CDs, you would expect the maturity date to be approximately one year away. There's a lot of valuable information from the columns. And I can also click on an individual CD to research more information on its overview page. When I look at a CD, I'm mainly deciding what period and maturity date I want to buy. I want to pick a CD that I can be sure I can hold until the maturity date. One important thing to be aware of is that it could be very difficult to get out of a CD before the maturity date. For example, if you buy a two year CD and a few months in you decide you don't want it anymore. First of all, you may not be able to close it out early or sell it on the secondary market. Second, you may be required to pay a penalty. And third, even if you are able to close it out or sell it before maturity, you may end up losing money. So in my opinion, it's really important to pick a CD that can be held all the way to the maturity date. Next, I look at the yield. I wanna get the highest yield for that period. Next, I double check to make sure that the CD is FDIC insured. Next. I wanna make sure that I have call protection so that the bank can't close my CD early. Next, I look to make sure that the bank is located in the United States. That shouldn't matter since it is FDIC insured, but I feel more comfortable knowing that the bank is in the US. And most, if not all of the CDs I've seen on Fidelity are from banks in the US. And finally, I wanna know the settlement date. Because these are new issue CDs, the settlement date will be sometime in the future. 
So if I place an order today, it actually won't buy the CD until the settlement date. Some of these CDs have a blue sky state restriction, which restricts you from buying them if you live in that state. You can click on sky for more information. Now that we looked at how to research CDs on Fidelity, I'm going to show you how to buy a CD on Fidelity Desktop. You can click the buy button from the overview page, or if you're looking at the list of CDs, you can click on the buy button next to the CD that you want to buy. Let's say I want to buy this one month CD from First Republic Bank. I click on buy, which takes me to this page. Next, I select the account that I want to make the purchase in. If you have several Fidelity accounts like I do, you want to make sure that you select the right one. Next, I type in the quantity that I want to purchase. For this purchase, one CD equals $1,000, two CDs equals $2,000, three equals 3,000, and so on and so forth. This is pretty typical for CDs, unless you buy a fractional CD, which I'll show you later in this video. As you can see, I only have a little over $2,000 available in this account to trade. Let's try to buy three CDs to see if I get an error message. The last thing I need to select is yes or no for auto roll. If I select yes, then Fidelity will automatically reinvest my initial investment at maturity into a new similar investment. If you want more information about auto roll, click on the auto roll service agreement. I'm not interested in auto roll because I like to be in control of my investments and I prefer to get my principal back and reinvest it myself. So I'm going to select no for auto roll. Now I click preview order. As you can see, I got an error message because I tried to buy three CDs, even though I only have enough available cash in my account to buy two. So let me change the quantity to one CD and click preview order again. And here I get to preview the order to make sure everything looks correct. I can see that I'm buying one CD in this Fidelity account. I can see that the APY or annual percentage yield is 2.95%. The time period is one month. Here's a settlement date. Auto roll is off and I'll be charged $1,000 for buying this CD. So if I'm happy with everything, I click place order. I'm not going to be placing this order at this time because I first want to show you a fractional CD, which I will be purchasing. So I found this fractional CD with the nine month duration from First Republic Bank. On the buy page, you can see that I can enter fractional orders. For example, 1.1 CDs for $1,100 or 1.5 CDs for $1,500 or even 0.1 CDs for $100 or 0.2 CDs for $200. Under amount type, I can also click on dollar and enter dollar amounts. For example, $150 would be 0.15 CDs, $155 would be 0.155 CDs, $2,500 would be 2.5 CDs, and so on and so forth. So fractional CDs are a really cool feature on Fidelity if you can find them. At this time, there aren't a lot of fractional CDs available. So I'm interested in buying $200 of this nine month CD. I'm going to preview the order to verify that I'm buying 0.2 CDs with an APY of 3.95%. Everything looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and click place order. I can now review the order by clicking manage orders. I'm placing this order on the weekend and the description says I'm buying 200,000, which is clearly wrong but I expect this to be fixed on the next trading day during market hours. And as you can see here on Monday, it did get changed to 200 instead of 200,000. One more thing I want to show you before we move on to the mobile app is how to cancel an order. Just click on activity and orders, find your order, click cancel, then click attempt to cancel. And if you're able to cancel, then the status will change to verified canceled. Now let's look at how to buy CDs using the Fidelity mobile app. First, click on transact at the bottom of the screen. Then click on buy new issue CDs. And it will take you to this page where you can research the CDs. Notice that not all of the CDs can be purchased on the mobile app. 
Some of them require you to make the purchase on the desktop app. Just like on the desktop, you can click on the links to filter by various durations. I'm gonna to go to all CDs, sort by maturity date, and find one month CDs. I can confirm that these are one month CDs because a maturity date is approximately one month from now. Then I find a yield to worst that I like. This one from KeyBank NA has a 3% yield. So I'll click on this one. I review all the details and if I'm happy with it, I click buy. I X out of this auto roll introduction page, choose the account that I wanna make the purchase for, choose the quantity, choose no for auto roll, and then click preview order. After I preview my order, I click place order and that's it. And if I want, I can click view order status and I can see that the order has been placed. And if I want to attempt to cancel the order, I can also do it here. All right, so thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you're interested in joining my free Discord to connect with other members of the Wolves of Investing community, drop me a line in the comments and I'll send you an invite. So let me know what you think about CDs. Are you planning to buy CDs? Drop me a line in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.